वेलकम टू आरजीएस पीबीएच पॉजिटिव मीडिया डायलॉग टुडे व्हिच फोकसेस ऑन वन महोत्सव व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी सेलिब्रेटेड फ्रॉम टुमारो एंड विल एक्सटेंड ओवर अ वीक बट इट विल एक्सटेंड विद नेचर लवर्स थ्रू आउट द ईयर एंड थ्रू आउट देयर लाइफ so we are uh, uh, very uh, i would say glad to have on our <clears throat> show a senior scientist and in charge of biodiversity aravali Ar- aravali biodiversity park and nila house biodiversity park uh, he is the scientist and uh, among those who have uh, conserved uh this uh, natural areas aravlis had been degraded and this was the lifeline of uh, the people of uh, delhi uh, for oxygen and uh, otherwise and uh, also the jamna that passes through uh that was also severely polluted a great uh, work was done um, by the scientists here in conser- conserving uh and the uh tree species and uh, you see they have again uh, revived the ecosystem uh, to a large extent i would say as far as uh, aravli biodiversity park is concerned our rgs pbs team visited this uh, very interesting area and had uh, a very interesting dialogue with the uh, with everyone there and uh, similarly we visited also jamna biodiversity park and there are seven biodiversity park uh, in delhi area and uh, it is the wish of uh, scientists who have been involved uh, or engaged in uh, doing this uh, wonderful work that uh, this should be replicated in uh, different cities of the country and wherever and uh, we uh, rjs pbh endorses this idea uh, welcome uh, uh, dr hussain uh, i would like to first uh, uh, know your present uh, feeling about the status of biodiversity uh, in the country as well as global biodiversity where we stand today after all the huge efforts uh, under the auspices of un also i think the 29th cop uh, will be held uh, this year and many decisions uh, have been taken and there have been of course uh, uh different opinions uh, as to how to go about it but some kind of uh, consensus is also there because of the severity of the problem that uh, uh earth and biosphere is facing so i would like to know briefly from you how do you uh look at this uh, crisis at this present moment thank you and welcome dr hussain good morning sir and uh, good morning uh, everyone morning. listeners say morning uh, is a, a great crisis worldwide nowadays that the earth is facing because of what we see the developmental activities of the lifestyle but the realization of the serious of damage to natural and global ecosystem has evolved gradually it is not at once that we are facing now several key milestone and events have played pivotal roles in this awakening and i will just take the early awareness com- campaign and f- efforts that have been taken uh, means uh, late 19th century to early 20th century that the conservation movements that the establishment of uh, i would say the yellowstone national park in 1872 that was long means felt that we should have some conservation efforts then uh, founding of organizations like the sierra club signaled early recognition of the need of to preserve natural areas then literature works like the your perkins 
Marsh, Man and Nature in 1864 highlighted the impact of human activity on the environment. This is what the early efforts that it is not today we are feeling. It was felt some 200 years back even that the earth was just uh, going through and that changes. Then the post-World War uh, Second Environmental Awakening also because it has damaged a lot. So, so this has led to uh, the 60s and 40s to 60s, I would say, because I'm going to historical account so that we should That's know correct. how it has come out. Yes, so uh, the industrial it pollution, the uh, it is the industrial pollution, the trap industrialization and urbanization led to visible pollution and degradation from the early scientific and public concern. This has led to, because we have gone then, then the silent spring in 1962 by the Rachel Carsons. This seminal book exposed the dangers of pesticides like DDT, significantly raising public awareness and sparking the modern environmental movement. This is what, because these are all we have to know, all these things. Then environmental movement in 70s, uh, it has gone like uh, the, the celebrations of the Earth Day. It was 70, the first Earth Day mobilized millions of people in the US and marked the a major shift in public awareness and activism. Then environmental legislation, the US saw the establishment of the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA that is, and message of crucial laws like the Clean Air Act 17 and Clean Water 72. These are all uh, worldwide, it was felt like. Uh, then the global reports of the uh, Club of Rome's report, the limits of growth, how much we should grow, how much we want, and warned of the consequences of continued economic and population growth on finite planetary resources. Then the global environmental concern in the 80s uh, have seen the ozone depletion. This was all in, a, in the discovery of the ozone hole over Antarctica in 1805 underscored the global nature of environmental issues and led to the Montreal Protocol to phase out ozone depletion substances. Then uh, intensifies focus on climate change and global cooperation, as you mentioned, that uh, how consensus will be will built up to just deal with all these things. So this was uh, uh, initiative of the Earth Summit, then Kyoto Protocol. So the Earth Summit, the United States Nations Conference on Environment and Development, that is Rio uh, Summit, resulted in a key agreement like the conservation of biological diversity and the framework convention on climate change. And the protocol, uh, Kyoto Protocol 1997, this international treaty aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions was a landmark in global climate policy. So these are all uh, some of the very, very key uh, initiatives uh, taken over. Then some uh, to the present scenario that IPCC report that uh, intergovernmental climate change has issued comprehensive reports detailing the science impacts and urgency of climate change and glamorizing the global awareness and actions. Then the Paris Agreement has come in 2015. This accord brought together almost all nations in a commitment to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees, aiming for 1.5. That we know all that we have to reduce our climate the global warming, that is 1.2, through all the means and public movement and biodiversity and plastic pollutions. These are all the concern that present scenario uh, the world is facing nowadays. So. Uh, this is a summary that what is the status of the biosphere reserve at the participatory context and uh, then then what is the present status uh, so far the presence of biosphere as determined by the scientists is a mix of resilience and significant stress the biosphere which includes all ecosystems living organisms on earth is experiencing profound changes due to human activities and this biodiversity loss it has increased the extinction rate, population decline of the many of the wild animals, including the plants and animals, then uh, led to the degradation of habitat destruction, that is deforestation, land use change. We are all witnessing, we are all witnessing the status of the forest, the land use change, and uh, because it is a limitations of time, so I will not be going into detail. But like the land use change, so conversion of natural landscapes into agriculture and urban areas continues to fragment habitats, disrupt ecosystems, and threaten species survival. So these are some of the very key points that because the ecosystems, they are the 
providers for all all facilities we need to survive or uh, to the entire uh, biological diversity that includes human being also and the global uh, warming the uh, the ocean acidification pollution it is a very dangerous now the pollution is the most uh, important key factor driver that is uh, displacing the entire uh, this species that is chemical contaminants the wide spread of pesticide herbicides and industrial chemicals has led to pollution of soil water air harming wildlife ecosystems and persistent organic pollution this is very important accumulation in food chain impacting species at all level even we are also suffering with this kind of pollution uh, that is through the vegetable or what we are eating so they are all accumulating at all levels and the recent is the plastic pollution that is the marine and terrestrial environment are highly uh, heavily contaminated with plastic debris which poses physical and chemical threats to wildlife microplastic have been found throughout the biosphere that is from deep to the mountains even and over exploitation of the resources just to have this kind of lifestyle nowadays means we, we do not know how much to accumulate we do not know how much to just keep and how much we need to survive so that is an all very changed lifestyle and we are just over exploiting everything including uh, the natural harvesting of the uh, the uh, the species that is overfishing we are doing Uh, then, uh, then the the wildlife trade also, but there are some positive development. It is not only that we are just doing like conservation efforts, the protection of areas, wildlife corridors, and conservation programs have been established worldwide to preserve habitats and species. Success stories include the recovery of certain endangered species and restoration of degraded ecosystem that. that we have witnessed or uh, witnessing uh, worldwide and the international agreement the global initiative like the paris agreement and the convention on biological diversity aim to address climate change and biodiversity loss through co- co- coordinated efforts so yes these are all very uh, few examples i have quoted and uh, that is what if you want to have few questions more i can answer uh, uh thank you dr hussain you have uh, expatiated uh on what i Wish to know and what I wish to familiarize our Asians uh, with uh, a perspective has been given, <clears throat> and uh, I know that uh, large number of people. In fact, most of the people only know about uh, the present crisis shallowly, and uh, this has to be spread to them more vigorously. You know. and we must not forget all the efforts uh, that have uh, preceded this present moment you know julian axle uh, he uh, turned towards uh, conserving nature and uh, sanctuaries and parks in africa because uh, that's uh, the second tenor we, sh- we shouldn't forget yeah. that homo sapiens emerged that is the consensus from the that uh, area and uh, julian axle uh, did a lot to conserve uh, these uh, sanctuaries and parks you know and uh, uh, we always uh, remember and edwin muir uh, who uh, you know conserved the natural areas in the united states and uh, the naturalist uh, uh, can uh, point out that uh, although <coughs> the situation is such that we uh, don't seem to be even aware of how much damage we are continuing to do and uh, yet uh, uh, there there are still fantastic you know diversities in uh, uh, in the world in in uh, even in amazon forest uh, 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 much of uh, i think a uh, uh, certain percentage of it uh, has uh, vanished and uh, amazon forest uh, uh, contains probably more than half the species of plants insects uh, 
reptiles and other and uh, bats and all uh, birds and butterflies and you know uh, it's a it's a very rich and also the perhaps the longest uh, lasting maybe because of his situation despite this plate tectonics because of the situation it is perhaps the longest light uh, uh, lasting a stabilized uh, biome uh, uh, on a uh, earth and despite and it is very resilient no you see things have happened in the past also and when we compare it with the modern uh, concern for uh, damage to nature uh, we should only differentiate between how resilient nature in itself is and what a disturbing factor the emergence of modern particularly technological uh, humanities because when we are talking of uh, loss of biodiversity we should be clear all those who are gathering together in meetings to discuss it let them be clear at least let us leave the last traces of hubris because in modern times with the technological advance uh, riding upon uh, great uh, scientific uh, insights and discoveries and paradigm shifts hubris uh, emerged hubris has always been there from other angles but the modern down to earth uh, human became so full of hubris you know it's a greek word so full of hubris they began to say they are overlords of uh, earth and uh, uh, they are superior you see uh, jay gould uh, who has been uh, uh, thinking and contemplating uh, about it has uh, uh, gone into the question of the complexity of gradual complexity of uh, mm, uh, species in the there's there's a astounding uh, diversity of nature there there are 2.5 lakh uh, plants and your spans flowering plants and probably uh, they are because as as new uh, species which is which becomes dominant uh, in the context of the darwinian evolution others uh, are somewhat thrown back or to the margin and some and of course vanish natural extinctions uh, are very slow why because at that time human disturbance was not there very at limited. least not to the critical extent yes now what have, what is the, that that diversity that is astounding even even when we go into the say corbett park and in uh, when we uh, go into the forest we are simply thrilled uh, we see this herds of uh, uh, deer and at the, at at one time uh, you know uh, it took hours to watch the passing herd in africa in the in the say what is now the serengeti park and even in our side the black buck uh, they were found in great herd in fact i'll tell you caracal uh, so you have affection for the place which you have brought it you have brought back from the almost from the much degraded state aravalli in that region you see the area near kutub minar in delhi is uh, also you know, somewhat uh, part of that i saw caracal which is now a rare rare species a fantastic creature i saw two caracals passing and uh, it i thought <laughs> because i i was small at that time i thought they are the young ones of uh, uh, this lions because lions at one times were found uh, as we historically know uh, a wider area and uh, near even uh, you know say at uh, near agra or mathura or uh, you know these things even uh, rhinoceros was found here all that later on uh, in up they were brought from for dudhwa national park ah uh, yes sir it was the introduction yeah yeah introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah introduction and uh, there were numerous elephants 
at one time there were many species of elephants uh, in the world and now there are two species african and asian and uh, african species was found in millions and of course our spe asian species also in much larger numbers and yes, now yes. Uh, yes. now uh, you see uh, although elephant uh, project elephant was you see all the time good efforts uh, uh, are uh, being uh, uh, done by the by those who, who understand things so knowledge is crucial yes. uh, knowledge is uh, very crucial you know so i was saying that hubris uh, gradually at least uh, it has uh, gone almost from the cognoscenti in the real sense scientists uh, have uh, have uh, rid themselves of hubris by and large but others have not done so so because i was saying that we should be clear on this point that nature itself is highly re resilient human humans are not uh, important from the eye of darwinian evolution or otherwise so our hubris has been detrimental to all life on earth and our greed you know our greed mahatma gandhi said that uh, uh, there is enough on earth for everyone it was wonderful it 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 is like eden it is like it, it is like very terrible paradise on earth we uh, and uh, uh, you see now it has been uh, severely uh, disturbed the uh, ecology uh, and uh, it's good that uh, they have woken up although efforts were done and the people were aware those who are uh, you know having insight into things they are aware much before the uh, problem starts uh, becoming conspicuous sure 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 so but uh, still as i have elsewhere often said on this platform that we have to turn our youth from all frivolities and not only youth everywhere everyone because we have to find thrill fact is stranger than, than fiction we have to find thrill a deeper joy in this diversity and while the megafauna are suffering uh, visibly uh yet uh, a naturalist has a very well said because i am interested in small ants and uh, hoverflies butterflies moths at night i have seen ants uh, at midnight in the light of the torch and i went to this uh, uh lutians delhi where on arjuna terminalia trees flying foxes uh, roost and once i was here even in urban areas nature is so adaptable so we should we in in normal healthy circumstances there was no worry life started for almost 3.8 3.5 3.5 to 3.8 billion differences are there mm -hmm. fossils yeah. uh, indicate yes. that yes. and uh, through this uh, uh, radioactive dating of rocks and uh, it has been found it is very ancient in the uh, abstract we need not uh, feel worried we should feel worried for us we should feel worried for us not for nature but i am saying in that context which i have explained now this global warming it was accidentally find the uh, uh, long back that uh, yes Uh, there was a uh, about uh, a, some one eighty two or something uh, parts per million by volume, and now I think presently, if I am not mistaken, it is only beyond four hundred, perhaps. Yes, 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 yes. Which is which is alarming, yes, yes. and uh, I and uh, there are differences of opinion among scientists, and on these issues, we ha we had better listen to them only. we can't be guided by any others others have to be if they are rational they have to listen to the scientists and scientists have to of course there will be some differences even there are dissenting voices they say perhaps this warming 
you see earlier uh, much uh, disturbance to climate has taken place lot of disturbance ice ages have come yes sir yes sir that's i i want to say ice sir ice ages have come yes, and sir. not only the pleistocene i i say in fact we are living perhaps in interglacial so you see and at one time dr husain amazon forest the climate was such that the amazon forest was reduced to only six pockets of uh, trees you know at this moment i would say it is better than that situation of course that situation was good in, in itself at that time because nature uh, takes care of itself most of the species vanish but they vanish gradually now the rate of extin extinction is frightening it's very fast sir it is very one fast one time even yes, they, uh, it, it, it is, is uh, it is even conjectured that it may be 1000 it's a very time fast more than uh, very what happened fast. earlier earlier yes. a species was vanishing once in 300 years or so probably maybe much maybe uh, it happens is very difficult to say but that was taking and most of the species have vanished and uh, the point is that we have to get rid of uh, hubris and we have to revive our atrophied sense of biophilia which is natural to us because we have come from nature and we are now part of nature part of nature we are part of nature and uh, our hubris is absurd nature is so wonderful all encompassing and from darwinian point of view we may not be very significant in fact it is only the trace of hubris that continues and probably other reasons which i will not go into so first of all people have to said that here down on earth you are part of this biosphere which is very fragile which is very precious which has uh, been established gradually and in fact our atmosphere has been created by life we should yes. be glad it is self sustaining even there is a hypothesis in which it has been compared by a, a, a researcher to to uh, tentatively speaking to a cell a, uh, the community in a cell and uh, you know all the archeans in their present form they are still there wherever stability is there it will continue over eons it will continue over eons and species will vanish according to the life span of species of plot plus 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 you know yeah. even human uh, human species uh, has maybe a million years we we have emerged only 1.25 and sure, uh, although sure, uh, in rudimentary forms it may be 50 lakh or even more so we have to be aware of that first of all i would like argentians uh dr husain and Sir. all others who will be viewing here in the country or globally that they should it is the earliest they reanalyze their energies and the earliest they divert their interest inter, uh with the curiosity towards natural world the best it would be for everyone because otherwise the situation is critical because when four people can't agree then it is somewhat of a very pleasant uh, sensation that we get that uh, so many countries come and reach some uh, points of consensus that's a very positive point and uh, we should uh, take uh, we should uh, it should inspire some confidence but the ground reality has to be also seen i would like to uh, no because uh, you have very uh, finally conveyed that uh, nature based solution have to be adopted in conserving nature because we have to take the strength of nature because some some are uh, uh, saying that uh, okay 
we will geoengineer the planet. We will find ways of reflecting sunlight backwards so that the planet will cool. And uh, others frustratingly, because they are frustrated, they cannot help very uh, wonderful researchers and naturalists. They are, they, they in, in their frustration say, now the slide is continuing, it appears. Uh, you know, different opinions. So, cryogenically, you know, like Noah's Ark, let us preserve all as, and let us uh, get uh, all biologists to work uh, on the planet and they should, you know, already in great museums, you know, if you go to the forest or in North East uh, uh, or uh, in bio biodiversity hotspots in the Western Guards, as far as the Megafauna is concerned. Uh, scientists and researchers at least know, even they know their Latin names and all that. But as far as insects are concerned and other small, they are at a loss and they have to consult uh, specimens. Uh, at now that, that that time it was necessary. For example, Salim Ali. He went across uh, all states in India collecting birds, and they are in Prince of Wales uh, Museum, you know, I think it may be. Yes. And uh, I once uh, went there and I familiar, I, I'm a bird watcher also uh, from childhood, and I uh, go to Dhanori and other places to see, uh, watch birds, you know, uh, Saras cranes uh, breed here. And uh, many other uh, birds are there, you know. Uh, so IBCs are there, and we saw snipe and jacana, jacana. A wonderful place, but I think uh, if you are aware of Danori, uh, is there any chance that it will be preserved as a wetland under Ramsar site or otherwise? Because, uh, sir, I, sir, uh, things I are have, vanishing. Things are vanishing. I have heard about Danori, but I haven't been to there, sir. Yeah, yeah. But yes, there are hundreds of, you know, that Saras screen, which is state bird of UP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is endangered also. Yeah, and yeah, regarding, yeah. you talked about the nature-based solutions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. You, are, you are using the energy of the nature in nature-based solution. Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to say the world is very vast and dynamic. Yes, sir. And uh, that dynamism cannot be, uh, cannot be controlled by a single individual. Maybe it should be a into a collective effort in, of the entire yes, world. Yes, rightly said. And then what damage we have done. So particularly, you talked about Delhi, and Delhi biodiversity, and Delhi landscape, and Delhi climate, and Delhi richness of the natural heritage. So yes, uh, if you see, I will take Delhi as an example because it is a beautiful city. Yes, it sir. has different landscape, thousands of you know, wetland it has in yes, the past. Sir and the river Yamna and portions of Aravali. So this kind of, you know, mixture of the landscape, you know, uh, normally attracts thousands of, you know, the species of biodiversity and they provide the ecological ecosystem services to uh, people have in the past. But at present, you see the scenario of Delhi from 20 lakh to 2 crore population from, you know, the very limited uh, transport system to 1 crore uh, vehicles, that man-made machine. And uh, your de developmental activities uh, of Delhi has sacrificed the wild lands. That wild lands means you are losing the entire wild biological diversity. So certainly they will affect this portion of the environment, which is a common medium for all individuals of life on this uh, Delhi NNCR. So biodiversity parks program of Delhi was a master plan of DDA to develop biodiversity parks and to repair or to restore the lost ecosystems of Delhi that, uh, that we have uh, taken over. So we initiated two decades back. Now the world is saying nature-based solutions, but we started uh, almost 25 years back as a concept of nature-based solution and we developed the Yamna and Aravali biodiversity park. These two biodiversity parks are conserving the native biological diversity of Yamna floodplains and the portions of Aravali hills, that is Delhi Ridge we call. 
Then yes, we have gone through a nature based solution to revive one of the biggest lake of Delhi, that is Nila House. And it used to be the biggest lake of South Delhi, and it was providing clean water, drinking water in the past. At that time, I but, have seen it. <laughs> yes. But uh, and, uh, antelope that uh, Nil guy and uh, uh, other uh, creatures used to uh, drink water there. Yes, yes. So that was that that was the lake here. But in due course of time, that I am talking was, of say sixty years ago. Must be, sir. Must be. So it was it was the dumping uh, of the sewage water from the nearby surrounding areas or villages. So uh, it is a local. I, I will just involve locals here because what role locals can play a public can play to conserve the uh, involvement of the locals to conserve the biological diversity. They have gone through the high courts and they have told that the lake should be revived. So at, the, at that time, they have constructed a, a commonwealth game bridge that is Arna Asafil bridge on that and it destroyed entire Nila house. So it was given to Delhi University in a collaboration with DDA. So we revived that Nila house with a constructed wetland system without using any energy. And now the 10 acres of the wetland comprising five acres water body is full of clean water with all life, migratory birds and uh, the aquatic flora and fauna. So this is what the finest example of the nature based solutions in Delhi. And it has been adopted by the NGT as a country model so that the small, small villages where you have sewage water, we have dirty water. So these, this can be cleaned through nature-based solutions using the special kind of plants with the design. And the same water can be utilized for irrigation, for, for you know, that uh, washing purposes, all these things, not the drinking water, it can be utilized. And regarding the portions of Aravalis, is, uh, the area which was given to us is between Prasant and Prasant Punch, that is uh, mined out area. So it was mined out for Badarpur sand, sandstone, mica, and, and clay for potteries. That was all the government wanted to develop into a concrete jungle. But again, the locals from Vasant Vihar, Vasant Kunj, they have gone to the Supreme Court and High Court. And it was uh, they made the government to change that area into uh, uh, to develop into a Ravali Biodiversity Park. So we have brought back almost the lost pristine vegetation of uh, Delhi Aravalis that is there witnessing uh, many species that have revived the bird species that you are sir, you are very much fond of birds so I would say that uh, from 40 bird species 200 bird species we have we have brought down so, so from 100 uh, from 40 to 100 250 we have reported from this area which was wonderful and from butterflies count by 25 species to the maximum butterflies of Delhi, we are able to park. And then, any food, any, any food, any range in general population, the entire population, and, and many reptiles and amphibians, and thousands of insects, even the fireflies. Oh, oh I tell me, Dr. Hussain, the new fireflies. Yes. Uh, are they spor sporadically in India or in, in every season? Uh, every time the dark season. During any season, and some of the mining fields, they have moist conditions, so they are seen throughout the year. Because they get the same for their, see, you know, they are getting on a snake tails, you know. So we have. I saw in Simla, I came to the conclusion. Why I, I was just wondering why there, there were so many of them uh, in, in, the, in uh, some areas of Shimla. I have seen her in their thousands. And uh, later on, as I was uh, getting a little more things about the Himalayas and all that, uh, just attending uh, my own insight to knowledge and insight. And I find that uh, it has emerged from the ocean earlier as the uh, Indian continent has adapted uh, and the sun to expression side and is still rising. So, so lot of uh, lot of in, in the ocean, lot of calcium and all that. And somewhere there is more more. And they uh, need for their shells. And if they feed on snails, I don't know what else they feed on, but I am aware that they feed on snails, and snails were also very common. 
They are the indicators of the clean environment, like yes, butterflies. Sir. They are the clean indicators. So these and are all uh, yeah, like di dragonflies also. We have hundred sun butterfly, thousand flies over here. We have. So these they are, are all. Their dance, are, their dance over the water is uh, uh, very fant yes. fantastic. So these are the nature-based solutions, as we discussed. We have not used uh, any any of the pesticide, any of the chemical fertilizer into our biodiversity parks. We are using the cow dung and the mulching. We are doing it, and at the same time. We have developed a special kind of, you know, that plant that to withstand during uh, during very extreme hot conditions. And the defoliated leaves they provide the manure during this monsoon period, and it is a flourishing. And as happens in nature, so as happens in nature, because you never add water, you never add manure, you never add anything to the natural forest areas. So we have developed a natural forest in the form of plant communities, as you see in the forest. That is social structure of the vegetation, and they provide different strata of the vegetation. That is layering of vegetation, and that those layers they provide opportunistic platforms to each yes, of the sir, animals, sir. either yes, the sir. plants or animals. So they are all surviving together. And at the same time, what benefits these biodiversity parks are providing is the nature-based solution. Like you don't run need to run uh, the carbon sequestration machine. The plants are carbon sequestration, nature-based solutions. So they are accumulating tons and tons of you know CO2 from the atmosphere of Delhi. They are yes, they are trapping tons and tons of dust to the environment of Delhi. And yes, at the same time, they are producing tons and tons of oxygen and mixing to the environment of Delhi. And at the same yes, time, they are providing the clean air. So the nature is always a nature-based solution for providing the very clean environment platform for livelihood through providing ecosystem this, services uh, yes yes thank you from this uh, uh, let us uh, uh, convey the message uh, that uh, since uh, we have we have separated ourselves from gradually uh, nature though we are never separable we have to consciously reintegrate ourselves and uh, we have to learn from the cycles of different cycles of nature and we have to adopt uh, circularity in economy thank you thank you dr Hussain. thank you sir thank you sir and for we would like me. to have you perhaps <laughs> again uh, uh, on our show uh, sir, uh, my best you, wishes to you for this wonderful work you are doing for uh, not only for our country it, uh, because uh, biodiversity is for everyone. Sir, I am fortunate to got this opportunity that uh, this country has provided me to work over here in, this, in our country, sir. This is what I am fortunate to have this time and that God has given me this opportunity to work for nature, sir, Mother Nature. <laughs> Thank so, you for being our, what, uh, on our show. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have, have a nice sir. day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir.